Hey guys, it's Chris with NeedRiceBake.com, and today I'm tackling a frequently asked question. Why does dough need to rise twice? Whether you're using commercial yeast like active dry and instant, or natural yeast like a starter, you've likely seen that most recipes call for a couple of rises. And here's why. A lot of the goodness of bread starts when you simply mix water and flour together, which creates gluten. Gluten is what gives bread dough its elasticity, and yeast is a real champ when it comes to enhancing gluten development. This has to do with how yeast works. It feeds on nutrition found in dough, which creates gas as it does. Because of gluten, that gas is trapped in thousands of bubbles inside the dough, which is why leavened dough rises. And as all of those bubbles form, dough is pushed around, which helps build gluten. The problem though is that yeast is really good at its job of creating space via gas, which means before long the gas yeast creates separates it from nutrition in dough. Gluten fibers are likely nearing their peak of elasticity at that point, not quite strong enough to resist expanding to the point where gas freely escapes, resulting in collapsed dough. This is why dough is typically knocked down or flattened after doubling in size. This takes stress off of gluten fibers and reunites yeast with its food supply. If given a second rise at this point, gluten will be much stronger and able to trap gas more evenly, which will result in a lighter and fluffier loaf of bread, creating the chewy texture most of us associate with leavened bread.